Berry butter bought bit of butter, but she said the butter's bitter. If I put this in my batter, it will make my batter bitter. So she bought some better butter, better than her bitter butter. And she put this in her batter, and the batter was not bitter. So it was better, Betty bought a bought bit of better butter. <laughs> Dunk twister. Bitter butter better. Butter bitter better. What makes the butter bitter? Any guesses? Letter U changes the letter I. While my brother was reciting this tongue twister, I realized that this is true in language and very true in life. When our focus and our thinking changes from U to I, not only the butter, but the whole world becomes bitter. I have struggled through bitterness of you and I in my life plenty of times. My closest cousin, Nethuni, looks a little like Shrek's wife. We both are movie lovers. After all of the exam, she phoned me and said, can we please go for a movie tonight? Honestly speaking, I wanted to neglect her because I thought she wouldn't really be interested in the movie. I was afraid I will put on weight if I go with her. I said, um, oh, I have a funeral, I'm so sorry. I lied. That night, I went with my family to watch Incredibles 2. Although the movie was incredible, I didn't feel incredible at all. If she was there, we would have bursted out laughing. After that incident, our relationship shattered and I started feeling lonely and abandoned. When the focus changes from you to I, even movies become bitter. One Sunday, exactly five months ago, my brother, my dad and I were playing in our backyard with our kitten. Around 8.25 in the morning, we heard a huge noise. We didn't really take notice of it, but our kitten ran into the house. After a couple of minutes, our neighbor came and told my dad that there was an explosion at St. Sebastian's Church, Katupitiya, which is about one kilometer away from our house. After a few minutes, my uncle and his family too rushed into our house because they were there at the church, but luckily outside. No sooner we heard the sad story, my dad hurried to the Nigamba hospital because there were many of his friends and cousins who attended that mass. We heard about the other bombings in the country and were terrified inside the house and felt insecure to leave the place. Two hours later, my dad came back home with the worst news that one of his cousins has succumbed to his injuries. And many of his friends have died and some of their bodies could not even be recovered. One of his friends have died holding the hands of his two daughters. Just during that incident, 31 children lost their lives. Around six children lost one of their parents. Another six children lost both of their parents. The total death rate up to date is 131 lives. And more than 150 people were injured. Can any of us fix their lives? Can any of us fix their broken hearts? How many times do we break things just because of selfishness in our lives? Well, if we don't know how to fix it, we better not break it. History is also full of selfish stories like mine. One incident is Napoleon Bonaparte. Well, right now, all of you might be praying not to send these people again so that we won't have to study history again. What kind of news do we get to listen in these days? In every week, 
there are riots and there's mass shootings in USA. Prolonged riots for 16 weeks in Hong Kong and Saudi Arabia's oil resources are destroyed, which supplies about 5% to the global oil supply. Everywhere, I is greater than you. In one degree or another, we all experience selfishness. Even if you're short, fat, thin, tall, young, old, selfishness is really self-destruction in slow motion. Recently, I had a brainstorm. Now you see, when the letters U and I shuffle together, it makes the letter E. Then the bitter butter suddenly becomes better. Little bit more of I and little bit less of you mixed together could make, make this world a better place for all of us to live in. Isn't that what we all want to see? Few weeks later, I got a call. Oh, it's my cousin. Hello, what's up? I have amazing news. My mom said they're going for a movie tonight and you could join us. I was crushed, embarrassed, and humiliated about myself. But I wanted to better our friendship. So that night, we went to watch a movie together. On our way home, we also went to McDonald's and ate a lot. When we were about to leave, my cousin asked me, can we please have the ice cream as well? How do you get so hungry? You just ate. Twice. Well, we still bought the ice cream because after all, I wanted to make her happy. But fortunately, I didn't gain a single pound. I'm still this size. The happiest people on this earth are not the people who receive more, but the people who give more. Thank you.